Um, today I'll be teaching you how to digitise freestanding lace. Now, people think this is really hard and really complex. I'm going to show you how easy it is. Okay, so I'm do using Embird Digitising Studio, which is Embird. So what we want to do is, the first step is to open up Studio and open up a new, a new thing, a new hoop size. And what you want to do is you want to set it to 4x4. Four four. Okay? If you want to digitise 4x4 four four lace, which is what I'm going to do. So now I'm going to import my line drawing. So I have a drawing that I'm using. It's just an outline off the internet of a star to make my embroidery file. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import my image. Just hang on. This will be a good time to show you. So my image is not in the right format. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it up and I'm going to change it to the right format. So this is my image. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open it in Paint. And I'm going to save it as. And it has to be a BMP file, a bitmap file, um, for Embed to read it. So, yes. Okay, so there's my star. Okay, so I'm going to save that as bitmap. And then I'm going to go back to Embed Studio. And I'm going to open that image by going Image Import. Now, here's my image here. And I'm going to bring it in. And now this says, do you want to scale to your current hoop? Yes, I do. So you click Yes. And we'll zoom out. And there's our star. So the first thing we want to do is we want to create a fill. So we want to fill the centre with a motive. So there's perfect motives in Embed already for freestanding lace. People think you have to go to all this manual digitising trouble. No, you don't. All you have to do is create a fill. So I think this is the one. Yep, create fill object. And then we click and we draw around our outline. So I'm just going to do this rough for the sakes of video, but you would take more time and you would um, make sure it's all perfect. But I'm not going to do that because I'm just teaching you. And I'll show you, you don't have to be perfect to get a perfect design. So what we're going to do now is you're going to right click. I'm on a Mac, so it's a bit harder for me to right click. And then I'm going to click close edges. And I'm going to right click again and I'm going to click finish object. Now I have my fill. So if I generate stitches, it's going to look a filled object. So we don't want that. So what we want to do is we want to come over to here. Now this is the object we created, the fill object we created. What we want to do is we want to go to parameters and we want to go motif. So we want to change it from a plain fill to a motif. And what I use for freestanding lace is I get... These all come with Embird, so you don't need to make any more. I use Motor 15. Now, this is Embird 2003. I haven't upgraded since then, so yours may be a little different. But I use Motor 15, which looks like that. And I use... And I scale it. So I scale it down by holding the right-click button, and I scale it to 50%. And I make the shift 1. Okay? And then we'll go OK. And then we'll generate our stitches. And it looks like that. So now that's a netting. So that's our netting that makes our lace. So that's our base fabric. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go convert and we're going to create outline from fill. Okay, so this is going to make an outline around the edge for us so we don't have to trace it again. So then if we right click on that and we go parameters, we change it to satin stitches. And we make it to 4.5 I usually use. And then we go OK. And we generate stitches again. We have an outline around the edge. Now that is a complete lace object. So that if you sew that out on your machine, you save the design. I'll show you how to do that in a second. You save the design, you put it on your machine. That is a lace design. Okay? So what we'll do is we'll go design. Compile and put into editor. I'm going to save it as an outline file. I'm going to save it as star 
for YouTube and I'm going to save it and it's going to and it's going to come in like this and I'm going to save it as Jeff because that's what I was doing I'm doing this for somebody else um, and then we'll go yes to all and now see this here this is too big because we didn't scale it in so we can just scale this down to fit in the 4x4 hoop now if you sew that out like that you use you use Embird and you save it. So you go file, save as, and you I'm gonna make it pairs because my machine's pairs, and I'm save it style for YouTube. Save it and go yes to all. That there is now a freestanding lace design. So that is your complete design. You don't have to do anything else. Um, I'm gonna show more complex designs and how to do columns and um complex outlines but if you just want a basic shape that's perfect and that is a perfect design so if we zoom in if we zoom in you can actually see the lace so not everybody does their lace like this but this is a beginner video i tend to do my lace this way but this is a beginner video and that will actually hold together perfectly so you won't have any trouble with that. So if you've got your stabilizer, which is violin, you've got it hooped correctly, um, you shouldn't have any trouble. And so there you go. You can see, now this makes a very tight mesh. Where, where it said scale before in the parameters window when we were making the motor fill, where it says parameters and you, you go into parameters and it says scale, if you make the scale bigger, the mesh will be more open. So... The higher you've got your scale, so if you've got your scale at 100%, your mesh is going to be really, really open. So the, your design is going to be really loose and floppy. But this is a really tight mesh design, so this makes it stable. This would make a good, you'd put a loop on the top out of satin stitch, and you'd. this would make a perfect Christmas ornament. So that's how I do it, and that's a quick way to teach you how to digitise in... Embird, um, please subscribe for more, I will be making more, and I will be back soon. Thank you for watching.